Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aubrey Samai. I'm happy to have you back. Uh, it's been a while. I've had some technical challenges that I've managed to overcome. But we're back. So today I want to do a quick lesson on harmony. An approach to harmony that helped me tremendously. That you realize you can harmonize any note can fit over any chord, right? Explain as we go along. But uh, first of these exercises is what I call uh, one, one plus one. So what we're doing is we're taking, let's start on C, right? We take a C note and we take another note just above an octave, octave above that first note. So either D, E, whichever note above, right? And then, so the first exercise, one plus one, the right hand is going to play chromatically up the scale to the E, starting on the E. The left hand is going to play in the cycle of fourths or fifths. Why we call it fourths or fifths? It's a fourth up, but it's a fifth down. And these can be inverted, right? So C to F is a fourth above, fifth below, right? So that's what the left hand essentially is doing. And then because I'm going so low, I'm coming up instead of going down to the A, coming up, ending back on C. Okay, so let's try that one. So you'll see the exercise written out on screen. Left hand moving in fifth, in fourths or fifths. Right hand moving chromatically. Now what we want to do next is we want to harmonize these notes. So we can put a chord. See that? So there you see I have a series of chords that harmonizes the um, the melodic line. So moving in the circle of fourths or fifths which is very common in all western music is progression so let's let's try that exercise So what I'm doing is I'm moving from C there, you can see it's a C chord, a C7 chord, to a dominant F7, dominant B flat 7 of sort, E flat 7, but you can see the extension. So for argument's sake, let's take the E flat chord. It's a root 7, third, 13. That is the um, flat nine, and that's the third again, right? So E flat thirteen flat nine E flat. That's the the that's a shallow voicing root seven third. Adding the thirteen and flat nine. Very nice chord. So I'm just that's just to explain some of the extensions for those of you who don't know. Right, moving along. So now you've harmonized that same pattern that we did earlier, right? That chromatic in the right hand, circle of fifths in the in the left hand. Now I have an exercise that I call changing partners. So what happens here is you can see now the left hand bass moves chromatically. C to the D flat but really ending on the C again. The right there now moves in fourths. D, G, C, F, B flat. But as I said because of the because we're going to high I'm gonna pivot so that you can also see 
B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, right? G flat, B, and that should take us back to C or back to D because that's where we're starting, right? Now let's harmonize those chords. Beautiful. So I'll just take the last bar that's got the E minor ninth to the E flat dominant, and that that is your sharp ninety, and that is your flat thirteen. The B is a flat thirteen, thirteen flat thirteen. Right. Just take that as a, as a, as a pattern. be a nice intro of sorts so if you you need to play intro you have this melody line could be your intro so you could make up something like or an ending exercise to help you think through different chordal formations and it helps you find different chords I mean I've, I've done this for many years so I can tell you that's a C major 9 right? that's your 9th on top there I can tell you that's a so I'm moving chromatically that's a B7 and there's a root 3rd 7th sharp 9 flat 13 So it's about finding these chords very quickly and this type of exercise will help you do it. But keep in mind, we, we're doing these patterns, octave, so 1 plus 1. You can hear the possibility for com composition, for argument's sake. Right, so let's move along. So now what we have here is the minor form of that exercise. So you, the first couple of chords I did was, right, the first exercise was dominant to dominant to dominant to dominant. Now we're going. C minor 9, dominant, or 11, let's say 11, F on top, so now the right hand is still moving chromatically, right, so, so C minor 9, to F, a F dominant, right, with a flat 9 on top there, and what else do we have in this chord? Got a flat 13 and a flat 9 on top. Right? What's next? B flat minor 13. Well, you can see the chords. If you can't see it too well on screen, you can you can download these. I'll, I'll put a link where you can download these below below this video. So you can better see the chords that I'm using. B flat minor 13. See, so what this forces you to do is it forces you to stretch your mind and think outside the box because remember your right hand moves chromatically so you, you need to find solutions to like, solving a problem listen to these beautiful sounds 
E minor 13 A minor 11 D7 flat 9 flat 13 and listen to this lovely G minor 13 where do you think of playing a G minor 13 you know we're so used to maybe playing a G minor like, like that it's got the 9 but here or you can play it like that either like that or like that but here you're forced to if you want to think okay what what chord can I put underneath that E no would, would you ever think of voicing it with a with a G minor sound maybe not to that F major with a sharp 11 See? and this this type of exercise will free you up harmonically and you'll you'll start to hear different chord voicings over different well compositionally or if you're playing a standard or as an introduction to a standard you know yeah it's open to the imagination then I've got one final exercise I want to show you. This one is very interesting in that the, the right hand moves right in. Hold down. Starting on the D. That's our turn scale for those who don't know. Very good scale. And very nice sound over a dominant chord. So now let's harmonize that old tone scale. So where are we starting? We're starting with a C minor 9. And listen to this one. We're moving to a F major sharp 11. What a beautiful sound. Now, would you ever think of voicing of going from C minor 9 to a F major 9? Wow, that's a beautiful vamp. That's the first four, four chords I'm playing. It's written C minor 9, F major 13, D flat, D flat major 7, I mean dominant 7, there's a dominant 7, sharp 9, flat 13. So, okay, so you can check out the rest of the exercise for yourself, but the idea is here that you, you're getting you're getting a feel of just just freedom with harmony just playing chords forming a chord over any note of the scale any anywhere anywhere on the on, on your keyboard thanks again for watching my name is Aubrey Samai please like and subscribe to this channel I'll be doing a lot more videos I've got a nice one on improvisation coming up next yeah I look forward to seeing you next time thanks take care